Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm Fallon. And I'm Rhiannon. And today we celebrate Veterans Day, a national holiday to honor the United States Armed Forces military veterans. On this day, we acknowledge the contributions to thank national security and appreciate their services and bravery. Thank you for your sacrifices and happy Veterans Day. Veterans Day, formerly known as Armistice Day, was initially established as a U.S. legal holiday in order to honor the end of World War I, which occurred on November 11, 1918 at 11 a.m. However, in 1938, Congress made November 11th a legal holiday. It is a celebration to honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. JFK once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. We, not, we want to not only recognize our veterans and those currently serving today, but every day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will be holding a Miracle Minute to raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project. The Wounded Warrior Project is an organization that provides a range of programs and services for wounded veterans who sustained a mental or physical injury during their time in the military. There are going to be OHS students going around to classrooms with a jar that well, you can put your money in, so be ready to donate. T minus one minute. Now we will hand it off to our keynote speaker, Mr. Seymour. Commander Seymour joined the Navy after graduating from UW-Milwaukee in 1984. He became an officer and completed flight training in Pensacola, Florida, after which he was transferred to San Diego, California. From there, he deployed several times with the squadron aboard the aircraft carrier USS Ranger over a three-year tour. He was lucky enough to visit many places throughout the Pacific, Asia, and the Middle East. After that, he moved to England, where he was an exchange officer with the British Navy for another three years. He deployed abroad one of their aircraft carriers, the HMS Ark Royal, and got to see many other places across the Atlantic, Europe, and the Mediterranean. He left active duty in 1992, having flown in many different types of aircraft in peace and war. He stayed in the Naval Reserve during graduate school at UW-Madison and into his second career as a psychologist. His last assignment with the Navy was helping high school students apply to the Naval Academy, including students, including students at OHS. He has lived with his family in Lake Country since 2005. His daughter is Sophie Seymour, a junior here at OHS. Hi, I'm Bill Seymour. I'm a 20-year Navy veteran. I spent eight years on active duty and 12 years in the reserve, and I retired as a commander. I'd like to thank Oconomowoc High School for this opportunity to talk about Veterans Day. I think that there were a number of reasons I joined the Navy. Um, first of all, family tradition of military service. My grandfather was a World War I veteran in the Army, and my father was in the Navy during the 40s and 50s. I also developed a sense of patriotism as a young man um, and thought that it would be a good idea to serve my country. And um, I 
had an interest in flying. I learned how to fly before I learned how to drive a car, actually, as a teenager. And I thought that flying in the military, particularly in the Navy, off of aircraft carriers would be challenging, exciting, and it was. The highlights were certainly the people I met during my time. The flying certainly was exciting and challenging, as I mentioned. The opportunity to travel, particularly in the Navy, was um, fantastic. I got to almost all the continents in the world, many different places I never would have gone without being in the Navy. The difficulties I encountered were at the beginning of my time at Aviation Officer Candidate School in Pensacola, Florida. We were trained by Marine Corps drill instructors who were tough and not nice, but we got through that together. So there were certainly sacrifices involved in being in the military. In the Navy in particular, we were on long deployments on ships for months and months at a time. And of course, we did lose people in both peacetime and wartime flying. So once I did leave, I thought about my experiences and what I might want to do as a second career. I chose psychology. And I think being in the military, being in the Navy, traveling, was uh, informative for me, so I pursued that in graduate school. And um, I've had a 25-year career as a psychologist now. And it's important for veterans to get together to remember and celebrate their service. I just attended a reunion with my Aviation Officer Candidate School class, and it was a great experience for all of us. It was as if we just saw each other yesterday. For me, Veterans Day means remembering the sacrifices and the service of people who went before us and to not forget um, what they went through. It's important for the other younger generations to know that history. Wow, this has been such a successful Veterans Day celebration. Today could not have been possible without the planning of Ms. Cavoni and Ro Kappa and the support of the school and the community. And the biggest thanks to our veterans who could join us today. Now join us in the Raccoon Runway to honor and send off our veterans who are with us right now. Good morning, Raccoons. We're here live in Raccoon Runway as we wait for our OHS band to lead our veterans through our Veterans Day Parade. Enjoy. We're gonna walk it over by them, but we're, I just closed the cap so we could walk it, and hopefully it'll stay going. We're good this way.
Thank you for tuning into our Veterans Day ceremony.